Hello, this is the Crinkly Onion, and welcome back to Pikmin. Um, we just stopped, uh, we just stopped with the last episode with the Forest of Hope, and we are going to the Forest Navel today, the third area in the game, and also, I think that it might be my favorite. It's just very unique. And just go ahead and go right into it. I have a lot of plans for today. I want to get at least at least two, maybe even three ship pieces, and we're going to be unlocking a new Pikmin. The blue Pikmin. Listen to that music. Oh my gosh. It's grooving. Alright. So, the very first thing I'm going to do. I'm gonna pull out, I'd say, 40 reds. Let's get him started on this. Get to work. And right down here, you can see the blue onion. And now we have a new Pikmin population to start growing ourselves. Oh, crap. Well, pretty sure that's lost forever. That is a bread bug. It is actually holding a part that we need, and it likes to carry away pellets and really anything else. Oh, what? Huh. That's a little odd. Well, either way, we're just gonna keep this here in case he comes back. There's actually something that I'm looking to do. Alright, I think he's, he's running this way. Let's see what he goes for. We'll be ready. This guy was actually originally just joking to me, but he actually made it for two more games. So, whatever works, am I right? There we go. And that's almost enough to take him down. Just another solid whack should take care of him. And there we go. Thank goodness, my space float. This float is an absolute necessity for any pilot that lacks skill at swimming in space. Oh, also, sorry about uh, skipping that last that last cutscene with Captain Olimar. I was kind of panicking, knowing that the bread bug was already here taking one of our pellet posies. We need every Pikmin we can get. And we already have 19 blues. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need 25, I think, to pick up that, that space float. Yes, 25. So 
best get on it. Why don't they die? That that was that was so annoying. We just lost like three Pikmin. We didn't need to lose that many Pikmin. Yeah, there's a glitch in this game or something. I don't I'm not really exactly sure, but whatever it is, it ensures that every once in a while an enemy will just randomly not take damage. And it's really really annoying it's impossible to avoid it it happens eventually on every playthrough all right i believe we'll have enough for the space float now so we can go ahead and go swarm this thing right here. Go ahead and carry it up. Yes, we have plenty. Go ahead, drive on. There you go. And now, while we're waiting for that, for that, I'm going to go get the reds. We have just recently finished building a brick. Taking down the gate, actually. And I'm going to go use these guys to, to get myself the second part of the day. Though that's actually a geyser. They're a uh, They they shoot Olimar into the air whenever they've been broken by Pikmin. Um, after he steps on it, of course. But unfortunately, whenever you walk over them, Pikmin are automatically inclined to start breaking them. And they're honestly not that useful to me. I've checked them out. It's... Yeah, there's not much point to them. I found the automatic gear. This thing chugs right along at its own pace. It makes piloting much easier, giving me time to concentrate on the finer points of space travel. Good to hear, good to hear. The finer points being the meteor that you crashed right into. While they're working on that, I'm going to have these reds working on that bridge so that everyone's always doing something. Hold on in a second. Isn't there a way that... Olimar can just kind of fall on the ground and not do anything. Yes! Look at that. Look at that. What is he doing? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he seems to be enjoying himself, so okay, but... I don't know. If you really want to know, I pressed down on the D-pad. To do that 
space float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this, but my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. I have now recovered 7 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 5 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Automatic gear. It has thin cracks running through it. I tried to fill them with dirt. I hope it will be alright. I have now recovered 8 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 4 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Let me just get over there real quick. Alright, enough messing around. I got important things to do today. Blues, come with me. Y'all got things to do. People to be. Places to see. An, a number one Ionium jet to recover. Here we go. Go get it. I found my number one Ionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly od odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Olimar does not get enough credit for, uh, for what he does here. I mean, all of the other games, Nintendo games, are all about saving princesses and rescuing islands and taking out extremely tough bad guys that want to kill you or stuff, or things like that, but Captain Olimar right here, he just wants to get home. He wants to see his wife and kids. He doesn't. He he doesn't have time to save the world. He he just wants to go home. And I just absolutely love that. It he, he seems a lot more relatable than a lot of the other char Nintendo characters. And not only that, but he's so smart compared to the other guys. I mean, he built a freaking spaceship. Like, sure, he also crashed it, but he built a spaceship. That's pretty crazy. Alright, you guys go on this bridge now. I'll call y'all back when, when the day is over. You have to be extremely intelligent to even know a bit about rocket science. And this guy, he knows enough to repair an entire spaceship, which is kind of incredible. Number one Ionium jet. If this is damaged, I'll be in dire straits. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. I have now recovered 9 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 3 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And not only that, but, like, people keep calling him Olimar and everything like that. But, truth is, he's a captain. He has the rank of captain. Mm-hmm. That's something to know. If that doesn't give you automatic respect for Captain Olimar, I don't know what does. Not only that, but he's also a pretty good micromanager, too. This is often one of my favorite parts of the day. When you got a long train of Pikmin going down a mountainside. They got all their goodies over here. Going back to the Onion. Just get to sit here and watch the parade go by. It's honestly kind of relaxing. But then you realize you have a YouTube channel and you gotta keep people entertained. 
so you gotta keep talking, and you can't think of what to talk about, because there's nothing that's going on on the screen, and you get a little uncomfortable. But, you know, oh well. Ooh, one more. Alright, come on. You know what? Yeah, we don't need it. Oh, okay. Didn't think it actually registered as going into the onion. Oh, something interesting about the Forest Naval. It is completely unique to the other areas in, in the series. Because... Listen to this music. That was different before sunset. The sunset music is completely different from the music from the rest of the day. The melody changes. That's really cool. Uh oh. Come on. You get over here. Crap. Uh, do I have any Pikmin lost? Oh, thank god. Okay. No, I don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. I think everyone's good. That was kind of scary for a second, but... I think everyone's good. Oh yeah, they're just gonna run all the way down the mountain again. Less than 10 seconds. They'll be right there. We didn't even see that guy today, but I think we will tomorrow. Four days since impact. Deep in the cave I discovered in the forest, I encountered blue Pikmin. These blue fel fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. The wonders of nature never cease to stun me, even in this alien land. Alright. We didn't affect our yellow or red population at all, but we really increased our blue population. Up to 44. And... We sprouted 47, we lost 3, and we have 100 reds, 102 yellows, and 44 blues. We have 21 parts remaining, with 26 days remaining. And that is all the time we have for today. We, tomorrow, we will be going back to the Forest Naval and getting a couple more parts. And then we'll see what happens next. I, I'm the Crinkly Onion, and thank you so much for wa watching.